Hello, this is the pathology specimen of a clavicle and we can see that at both ends there is a whitish area here as well as here and these areas represent the epiphysis where this is the epiphyseal growth plate. Therefore, we can surmise that this is not the clavicle of a mature adult and this belongs to a child. So let me just turn the specimen around and this is some of the soft tissue, the fatty tissue and the darker skeletal muscle that is around the bone. And here is the articular surface. When we look at the bone, it is very clear that there is a mass that is located within the diaphysis of the bone. And this mass is pale and tan in color. It is quite fleshy. There are some areas here that are a little bit paler that probably represent necrosis. And very importantly, if we look at the bony periosteum, which I am tracing now, we can see that the tumor first kind of pushes against it. And in this area, it has actually broken through the periosteum into the surrounding soft tissue. Over here, it is still limited by the periosteum. And we can just about pick up the periosteum here. But it would require some microscopic examination to see if the tumor has broken through the periosteum in this region. This is a case of Ewing sarcoma. Ewing sarcoma belongs to a group of tumors, morphologically known as small round blue cell tumors. So these are tumors that actually are composed of rather small cells with very high nucleocytoplasmic or NC ratios. And usually they are immature tumors, they occur in children and they have a very high proliferative rate. For example, in this high magnification field, we can already see one, two, three mitotic figures. So we know that this tumor is very actively proliferating. And when we look at the cells, we note that they have very scanned cytoplasm. Some of the cells have quite pale and vacuolated cytoplasm, and this is because they contain glycogen. Ewing sarcoma is a high-grade tumor. It is aggressive. It is rapidly growing. It usually occurs in children and in the long bones. For example, the tubular bones, uh, the femur is a favored site. And very importantly, it arises in the diaphysis of the bone. So in summary, this is a tumor arising in the clavicle of a child. And there is a fleshy tumor arising in the diaphysis that is expanding the bone that is invading into the cortex as well as through the periosteum into the surrounding soft tissue and this is an Ewing sarcoma. It is a high-grade aggressive sarcoma of the bone.